Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I'm going to check out some of your questions for Elvis Presley in the afterlife. It has been a minute since we have communicated with Elvis and you know, as well as I do, how charming and sweet his energy is so it's about time oh you know what and i'm starting this video without something very important i have a prop here i need to use mm -hmm. the reason why i'm channeling elvis is because i received this beautiful gift for my birthday in february and from a lovely client and friend who sent me this incredible mug from Graceland. If you're interested in actually watching me open this, <laughs> I did an unboxing, because I didn't know what it was, on my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel. Isn't that cool, you guys? Check it out. Isn't that neat? It even has it like on the handle Graceland. Isn't that, oh, just so awesome, so. Yeah, I love it. So that was my inspiration. I'm like, oh, and I love this picture down here of him, right there. Love that, love that. All right, so you are obviously an Elvis fan. If you are watching this video or you just love Above Life Channel, thank you for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a weekly channeling video. I'm gonna get to your questions. You know that I have a video out there that you can submit questions and it's called You Choose the Channel, I'll link it below. So if you have more questions for Elvis, please put it on the You Choose the Channel video. That's where I go to see what kind of questions are out there and who maybe I should consider channeling next. All right, so today we are going to, oh, oh, Sarah has some questions for Elvis and she is actually from Minnesota, so, Okay, I had to pick hers, of course. Here we go. All right, so Elvis, let's bring Elvis's energy in first. Feels uplifting. Feels kind of fun. <laughs> Feels like bopping and uh, moving and stuff. And uh, something like Mardi Gras, there's kind of a vibe, a New Orleans vibe coming through, a music, a blues, a jazz. He likes the jazz too, you guys. Like he has a lot of respect for the horn players, the trumpet players. He actually just said Miles Davis. And so, ooh, there's a lot of, oh, energy coming on in. Hey, come on in. I'm actually recording this particular channeling session with you on uh, February 21st, 2020. So I don't know if there's any kind of significance to this date for you guys, but that's what he's kind of coming in with just that's energy it's playful and fun he says yes yes ma'am yes ma'am um oh and he's acknowledging service that's interesting all right you guys know if you've watched any of these other videos that i've shared for the last few years at above life channel or watched my playlist on here for elvis you know that i describe things because very specifically because i'm clairvoyant so i see it, and it's important for you to understand I wish I could just plug my third eye into the camera and you could see him too, but I'm going to share with you. So he looks, he's making a little nod to a military um, service. So he's giving some kind of a nod to veterans. And I want to make sure I respect and honor that, that he shows up like this and he just nods. And he's got like um, army, it's like a hat and then a uh, green jacket and just very, um, just a nod to veterans. I need to share that. And thank you for that, a nod to service. And, and he says, now, yeah, now let's party, he says. I liked a good party, I liked a good party. Yeah, Mardi Gras must be coming up. It must be. And I, I don't know, you guys, I'm in the North, not the South. So I really don't follow that stuff. Not a big partier myself, but clearly Elvis likes that energy. So were you a big partier? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I like to have a good time, he says. I like to have a good time. Um, it depends on what you mean by party, but yes, I like to have a good time. He says, I was a bit rowdy. I will, um, I will, um, he doesn't say admit to that, but I will say that. I will agree to that. I was a bit rowdy, um, and especially in my younger years, he says, a bit, a bit, uh, a bit more than rowdy, you would say. And so, um, all right, so I have some questions for you, Elvis, from someone who um, is uh, obviously a fan and admirer. So it is Sarah from Minnesota and she asks, have you reincarnated? He says, no ma'am. All right, not yet. Does that mean you're not going to? It's interesting because um, I felt you multiples at times. And when I say that, you guys, what I mean is 
Um, sometimes when I feel the energy of afterlife people who have crossed over, I can connect to them as how collectively you guys know him from his persona as Elvis. And I can also connect to him as a like higher evolved spirit, like his almost like his higher self if he was like a person on earth, if that makes sense. So I can kind of get two different perspectives when I'm doing channeling with celebrities. But also if somebody is reincarnated, it can be harder or more difficult for me to connect with them um, unless I switch into the higher consciousness and then I can connect with them. It's not a big deal. Um, so, and that's difficult to explain, but that's kind of how it works. So, so are you, why do I see a double? Is it, maybe it's because of your twin. Okay, so I know that you had a twin, obviously. And is it that your brother has incarnated? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, and is there a confusion about energy because his energy is similar to yours? He says, we were twin, but he says, we were twin. Um, energy is, is individual, it's personal. But yes, there are some similarities. You would know, it was my brother, you would know. And so is he incarnated? Yes, ma'am. Is he someone we would recognize? Yes, ma'am. Okay, are you gonna tell me who that is? Would you wanna share that? I don't know if that's the best idea. I'm just looking at him. He does look like you. He feels more country though, country music-like. He can sing, but he's not on the stage often. He's behind the scenes. I see him in like a hat, like a cowboy hat or a rancher hat, like Texas or Nashville, that kind of vibe, you guys. And he's a man, he's incarnated as a man, a young man, it looks like, no, he might be in his 30s now. He might be late 20s, mid 30s. Um, youthful though, he doesn't look exactly like Elvis. He doesn't look exactly like him, but he's involved in the industry somehow, involved in music, more behind the scenes he's showing me. Hmm, this is curious. I'm curious about this now. That's a good question, the reincarnation question. All right, so I'm gonna step back for a second, ask the next question so we can continue to get as many questions in, not just from Sarah, but from others as well who have asked you questions. So let's move along. I know some of you are screaming at the video, but we're gonna move along. Um, are you a spirit guide for people? I'm gonna make the question a little general. And are you a spirit guide for people? Yes, ma'am. And I know this personally, you guys, because I have, uh, I think, two clients that every time, I every time I communicate, every time I open up to connect with these two clients, Elvis is always there in some, some kind of energy form. Um, doesn't always like come into session because you know I don't do private sessions to channel celebrities. I don't do that. That's not what that's for. Mm -mm. My private work does not, I do not do that. Nope, 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 nope. That's for all of us to be able to to connect and 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 enjoy the insights, right? But Elvis does come and is certainly a spirit guide for people. And it's it's very um, he's very charming. He, he's very creative. Like his energy is about making the most of your life. When I say creative, I don't necessarily mean musicians and artists only. I don't mean that. Or writers only. I don't mean that. That's not what I mean by creative. He's a creator energy that encourages you to really manifest, make your best life, make your best life. And he is not about, Elvis, it's okay that I share this? Yes, of course, oh, yes, yes, ma'am. He's so, okay, yes, of course it is. Bridget, go ahead and share. He's not like super chatty. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, you can share this. Um, he helps with that kind of like this feeling of like, um, if you're not, if you're feeling less than or a little bit inadequate, like I don't know if I have what it takes to really, I don't know if I deserve to live this a really good life or that kind of a thing. If there's any of that self-doubt in your energy, Elvis kind of cools that or calms it in a way where you can find peace just living your life. Like you don't have to be on stage, you don't have to find the cure for a horrible disease, you don't have to be famous, you just have to be present, engaged, and active in your life. And so he just encourages you to live, just to live your life. 
you know, to enjoy the quiet moments, to enjoy your family and your friends. And he is very connected to family. So if you struggle with relationships within your family, with your, your children or your siblings or that kind of a thing, or even, even um, farther out in your family, you can, can work with Elvis to help with those relationships because that's something that he looks to, to help heal and mend. He really helps with the mending and the healing in family relationships. And so relationships is an important thing for him that he feels as though he didn't master in this lifetime at all. And so, um, and he knows how meaningful and important those are. So he is, he's honored to be in service. Thank you. We're back to the service. Thank you to, to help with that for you to help understanding. So yes, Elvis can easily be a spirit guide easily. I've seen it. So. All right, and shows up in different ways, not one size fits all, as you well know. If you look at Elvis over his entire lifetime, his career, you know that he's gonna show up in different stages, ages, and places, depending upon what fits for you and whatever issue that you're working on or working through that you're asking guidance for. You guys, don't be shy about this, and you're not silly. This is not a ridiculous thing. It's only ridiculous to people who do not believe in spirit, in intuition, in themselves, in the support of the universe, of God, of creator, of source, energy. Yeah, it's only silly to those people, okay? And eventually, hopefully, they'll come around. All right, so next question. I have heard you are planning, you are playing music with, oh, okay, this is, um, this is a personal question, so I'm not gonna respond to this. That's not what the public Above Life channeling sessions are for. Um, all right. There we go. All right, so those are a few questions from Sarah. We're gonna move on. Let's see. Ooh, this is fascinating. Okay, here is a question from somebody that didn't tell me who they are or where they're from. Um, but I'm gonna ask it because I think it's interesting. Um, this is from, oh, EP Fan for Life. I assume that means Elvis Presley fan for life. All right, thank you. Um, don't know where you're from, but I'm interested in your question, so I will ask it. Um, Elvis Presley, what do you think about Graceland being open? Hmm, that's a really good question. Let's ask about that. What do you, how do you feel about Graceland being open, like for tours and to the public? It's not my house. He says, it's not my house. <laughs> and you guys, it's weird because I, I don't really technically know whose house it is because it doesn't feel like it's Priscilla's. It must be left to Lisa Marie. That's interesting because it, he's like, it's not my house. It's not my house anymore. It's not my house. He says, you know, there's a lot of love at Graceland. And he says Graceland, Lynn, almost like L-I-N to me. And maybe it's because because I'm in the <laughs> He says Graceland, Graceland. Graceland is a, a, a very loving place. He says it's a loving place and, and it should be shared. It should be shared with others. He says it, it should be shared. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't I share that? He says, I don't have a problem with it in particular. And, and to be blunt, you know, to be straight, straight with you, um, it's not really my business anymore, is it? <laughs> Um, he says, but I do visit there. I do visit there. You can feel me there. Yep. Yes, yes, you can feel. And he says like my energy, but I'm going to say essence because it literally feels like all of the, no matter what they change or move around or switch out for furniture or decor or remodeling, you guys, you can feel him there. And he's like really clear on that. And he looks like, and I know I've said this in a previous video, it looks like he hangs out at the meditation gardens area. He's outside. He likes to be outside. Although it's really kind of fun to, there's gotta be a room there that has like a rug. I have never seen Graceland, I've never been there. I, I, don't, I don't know that I've even seen any pictures inside there. I saw um, some kind of picture of like um, walking in and the stairway, that, that there's a stairway and like a blue curtain and that's pretty much all I've seen. So I'm not recalling this with my memory, but what he's showing me is it's kind of fun to be in almost like a loungy area in the house where like there's a step down and then there's this rug that's like black and white and it's either like a leopard print or a zebra print and it looks like black and white like the room looks very black and white and um like a loungy kind of area and there might actually be a bar there i'm not sure but kind of a loungy area um he says i do like to sit on the couch there kind of free sometimes it freaks people out a little bit <laughs> 
He says, sometimes it freaks people out a little bit. Um, he's like, it's kind of funny. Like he has a sense of humor, like he lays back at the couch. He's like, hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, how's it going? He says, it's kind of funny. He has a good sense of humor, you guys. All right. So, all right, all right. Okay, so thank you for that. Let's see. Oh, interesting. This is a good question from Happy Mom. Hey, nice to see ya. Um, the question is, Elvis, are you allowed to have fans in the afterlife? Hmm. Ah, and then the follow-up question is, is it possible that, uh, that loved ones that were huge fans that looked up to Elvis in the afterlife, if, if they've been able to um, continue to be fans? Interesting. All right, that is a great question. And I, from my sessions with one of these ladies that is super connected to Elvis, I, uh, I know that, the, I know the answer to that. But I'll let, we'll let Elvis talk about it. Elvis, Elvis, can you have fans in the afterlife? Yes, ma'am. He says, I love fans. He says, I love fans, I love fans. And you know, there's a lot of different types of fans now. He said, there's a lot of different types of, of fans. He says, there's the, the spirit, the fans and spirit with that loving energy, you know, that loving, he's like the loving, I'm gonna say vibrations, but I don't know quite the right word because in human form, he went to like frequencies, but that's how it feels. Fans with the loving frequencies that are like pure love, spirit, that kind of a thing. And then he said, and then there's fans that there's, there's souls that are in bodies that need help, that ask me for help. The best I can do in those circumstances is to pray with them or to gift them with the music, the lyrics, the songs and, and Maybe that can be of some comfort, and if that, when that occurs, when that happens, it does feel very heart heart based. If it's very loving to me, and that that feels like a gift, a gift is what he says. So you can have fans in the afterlife, people who've been fans on Earth that come into the afterlife. Yes, ma'am. And you guys have like big concerts. He says. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Well, sort of, you guys. Okay, so he literally shows me like, I'm like a music festival, like where they're outside and people are, it's like an energy, you guys. All it is is a visual imagery. It's a co-creation of how it feels. I'm not suggesting that actually when people are in the afterlife, they gather together to have concerts. However, I have seen afterlife spirits collaborate, connect together, and do good work for, for groups of, of people, um, humanitarian efforts and things on earth. So I think that's beautiful as healers. So he is showing me playing a guitar on a white stage with uh, green grass, with people sitting on white blankets and souls just kind of absorbing the energy. So it's just all energy, you guys. But he's showing me, yes, there is the connection. Yes, that love, that genuine love, continues on he says and that's what you that's what you're meaning that's really the meaning of of that question that was an awesome question that was an awesome question all right let me see if there's any more hmm This is interesting. This is an interesting question. Um, so I am going to ask this question. I think it's. I think it's interesting, and and it's. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm curious as to how he's going to respond to it. So I'm going to ask this question. So we have a question from beautiful Miss Sheila from Oregon. Thank you so much for watching. I've seen your comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch Above Life Channel and to comment. So we're gonna ask this question. This is a big one. Um, Ms. Sheila would like to know, Elvis, if you've actually met Jesus. She says, I know your faith was a huge part of who you were and who you are. Okay. Oh, and then she says, and if he answers this, tell us what what it was like to meet Jesus. Mm. Can you talk about this one? So I am gonna share that oftentimes, um, well, no, let's just, um, I'm gonna keep my two cents to myself. Let's hear from Elvis. Let's hear from Elvis. This is a beautiful question, beautiful question. Have you met Jesus in devotion? Yes, he says devotion. In devotion, yes, in devotion. He literally does the sign of the cross, you guys, <laughs> yes. And then he literally holds 
like he pulls out something uh, like that's underneath. There's like a, he has kind of this, um, it just looks like a plain black t-shirt on with a white jacket over the top of it. And he literally pulls out what looks like a cross and he shows it to me. So he says, yes. In and then he says, in devotion. You guys, this is going to get a little deep, which means he's going to move up to the ascended level, the higher level of spirit. So if it, the words don't seem or feel like they match exactly what Elvis would say in a human context, please understand that there's two versions of the spirit that we can all connect to. And so that's where we're at now. Yes, he says, yes, ma'am. It's not, it's not what you would believe. It's so much more. He said, it's so much more. There is an equality, he says, an equality that you are given this opportunity to unite, to reunite. There is something that you feel and it escapes words. It cannot be described. But everyone has their, their Jesus. Everyone has, it, it could be a, your grandmother, your mother. It could be anyone who you've known, who you respect, admire, who you look up to, who, who has been a mentor to you, who's, who's someone that you just really admire that maybe you never met. It doesn't matter, there's none of that. There's none of that um, class system or separation or any of the division that we're used to as a human. All there is is a beautiful, the beauty of connection, the beauty of unification. He says unification, not connection, is not Elvis's word, unification, uniting. And I'm not gonna stand and say that this is for everyone. I recognize the value of the pure love and the devotions that we each choose, what we accept to believe is our own. Faith is something very powerful. It was very, very powerful, very strong in my life, especially after mama died. Very strong in my life. I had to believe. I was angry. I was very angry at God, but Jesus never left me. There's always forgiveness and mercy and love and acceptance into the afterlife it wasn't like meeting a rock star how you might think how it might feel to you now if you met jesus bridget isn't that true and when you met jesus yeah okay you guys so when i've met jesus when i've um, channeled and connected with jesus it's been just so it's over overwhelmingly calm and peaceful like when i channel with mother mary with his mom with jesus's mom I feel just emotional and like I cry and I just feel loving. I can barely talk. I'm super altered. When I connect with Jesus, it's just this calming, mellow energy. Like you wouldn't, he wouldn't stand out to you if you're walking by him in a crowd. And that's the point. He's very, it's humbling energy and it's pure. And many other ascended masters have these types of energies when you connect with them. And regardless of religion, this is not, you guys, this is transcendent of religion. Um, for Elvis, it's a historical, beautiful, faith-based connection, a strong belief system that in the afterlife, then when they met, there was a unity, a uniting. And then there's this, there's, there's this cycle, a circle. He's showing me the circle um, of devotion that continues on. But it's not for the man or a human presence person. It's for the representation of the unity. And, and to me, the channeling of that, how, how he's sharing it and feeling it is love. It's like acceptance of love, accepting love, accepting love, just pure love. That was really powerful. That was a fantastic, thank you, Sheila from Oregon. That was a fantastic question, a fantastic question. All right, Mr. Presley, I think that that's where we're gonna wrap this particular channeling session. If you guys have more questions for Elvis, go ahead and put them on the video that's called You Choose the Channel. I'll put a link below to that video. The reason why I say that is you guys, I get a lot of comments and that's awesome, but it's kind of hard to sort through them when I'm trying to, to do a channel for somebody particular. So make sure you put it on the You Choose the Channel video. You can put it on this video too, but know that if you really want me to see it, 
The next time I decide to channel Elvis, that's where I'm gonna go. So, so try to do that, okay, you guys? And there's a playlist. There's a ton you can binge on Elvis stuff, all right? And I am gonna mention, ignore some of the weird comments because sometimes there's some weird comments about Elvis. Imagine that. I should ask you, what do you think of that, Elvis? What do you think of the people that think you're still alive? Maybe we should leave that one for the next video. <laughs> he laughs. He says, well, you know, Miss Bridget, in a way I am alive. We are all eternal spirit <laughs> by the grace of God. He says, <laughs> I'm like, okay, which I would add on universe, prime source, creator, energy, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. This is Bridget for watching this video at Above Life Channel. Our purpose is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope because this after all is your life. So get out there and live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.